everybody! Welcome to Puppet Flicking! I'm Einar Bangus and today we're going to look at finger loop braiding. This is an ancient craft and we thought we'd have it a go. Hope you enjoy! Measuring out our lengths of wool. We have a measuring stick. Well, actually it's just a piece of wood. But it's the length I want to use. So, we take our wool, and we wrap it around, and that forms our three loops. yourself a little bit the wall with a little bit of simply tie them together. In. We can repeat the same process with our brown wall, which just went on the floor. Bits. Tie them, and we can take all of our bits, tie them together, Our lengths. Now that bit of length will approximately make that much cord. So how do we secure it? In the case of the way I work, you can attach it to a table leg, you can attach it to a chair, around your foot, using a G-clamp attached to the far end of the table. Another bit of wall, like so. A bit of simple slip knot. All my cords together and then tie it around the end like so once they're pulled tight they're ready to go simple right so we're going to try some finger loop braiding it's not as complicated as it sounds but it does take a bit of practice. So we have here three loops of red wool and two loops of brown wool. Now we will make a very simple braid which you will see as we control it. Putting your loops onto whichever hands you wish, make sure they are the opposite ones though. So we're putting the two loops of brown onto 
those fingers, leaving a finger here free. Finger mouse it. Yeah, there we go. And then we do the other loops to the other hand. Middle fingers, because we're only using a five braiding system. There we go. Now, pull it tight. And we're using the hands down method. You can use the hands in method, but we learnt the hands down, so that's the one we're going to show you. Take your loose finger mouse here and go through the first braid, through the second one, and grab the third, let it go, and then pull it onto that loose finger. Then we stretch our hands out and pull the cords tight. walk as they call it the other braids back along the fingers so that they're now on the back fingers and then you repeat the process take your finger mouse on the opposite hand now and go through through and grab and pull pull it out to make it tight walk and you'll now see that they're in a different position now, repeat, in and under, in and under and grab, cross, pull, back, walk. It's that simple, but we are only doing a very simple pattern. So, in and under, in and under, grab, pull, walk. And now the red ones are all on this hand, and the brown ones are all on this hand. Cool. And now they're back where they started. It does stem back all the way to the medieval period, but mostly in medieval manuscript. But it's a nice, simple and almost therapeutic form of braiding to get a cord. Although we are using red and brown wool because it is contrasting colours. So you can see what we're doing. And the more you stretch it out, the tighter the end becomes. So you have to remember to stretch it out to the exact same spot each time. Now, as I said, this is a five. There's also a seven and one which uses 15 and two people doing this haven't actually looked into that one yet looks quite complicated but it didn't take long to learn this in fact watch this one video by a lady called Donna and that was it Got it from that. It does require some concentration. Now there are other videos available to watch online which show you immense patterns. So you can do all kinds of stuff like put little hearts in it. put a set of lines down the side but with an integrated pattern on the inside this one I think is just chevrons please do hit like and subscribe share with your friends and I always say it but it's 
frem. And if you've got some spare time at an event and you don't know what to do with yourself, you could always just simply attach the cords to a table or, well, round your foot and just sit there and do it. And at the end of it, you'll have a braid which you can use. You can see how quickly it's forming a cord. And like I said, I've done this a couple of times. And as I say, with all of these tutorials, we're not experts. We're just reenactors. And we learn these crafts, and we give them a go. Just to prove that anybody can do it at any skill level. Again, accidents do happen, but you can quite easily pick it all up and continue. You can even, if you want, lay it down. Make sure you don't bundle it all together. probably getting to the end now. I can't stretch my hands as far. I have to think about tying it off. One more pass, just give it back so that it will... There we go. Now we're going to put them more onto the same finger So there we go, that's our cord, with a nice chevron pattern all the way through. Well, that was interesting and fun to do as well. So please hit like and subscribe, share with your friends and we'll see you next time for more.